literally I am standing in front of the very first high-speed railway train in Indonesia and as well in Southeast Asia. It is called Kereta Cepat Jakarta Bandung and it connects two cities. First, the capital of Indonesia, Jakarta, as well as another big city, Bandung. What is interesting in that is that there is already a very full route between these two cities because there are about 40 million cars that go through the Bandung Tall Gate every single year and as well as an additional 4 million passengers that commute through the intercity trains. Usually, travel to Bandung would take around 3 hours by car. However, now with the presence of this high-speed rail, it will take only around 45 minutes. This project is a joint project between Indonesia as well as China. There has been talk since decades ago with Japan and China both being very interested, but China is finally winning the bid. And it's very interesting because in these trains, there, it is not like a usual high-speed railway train, but there are also Indonesian characteristics that are blended into the train. Well, I am so excited to be here. This train can run about 142 kilometers per hour with a very top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. Well, without further ado, why don't we check out the train and look at what it's like inside. China and Indonesia signed an agreement in October 2015 to establish the joint venture to build and operate a high-speed railway service connecting two of Indonesia's largest cities, Jakarta and Bandung. With a top speed of 350 km per hour, the average travel time between the two cities will be reduced to 45 minutes from the initially 3 to 5 hours. The project is expected to create positive economic impact, generate thousands of new jobs, and lead to growth in all sectors. On January 21, 2016, President Joko Widodo attended the groundbreaking ceremony of the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Train Project in the Mandalawangi Maswati Tea Plantation, Chikalongwetang Subdistrict, West Bandung Regency, West Java. At that time, this fast train project had already been included in a national strategic project. The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed train is the first overseas construction project of the Chinese Railway Authority that fully employed technology and industrial components of the Chinese railway systems. The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed train uses the latest generation of the CR400AF train cars. This train has a track length of 142.3 kilometers with stretches from Jakarta to Bandung. This train effectively makes travel time shorter and more flexible for people with maximum amounts of activity. It is also considerably green, as it is electrically driven with no direct carbon emissions during its operations. In its operations, the train service will be divided into three classes. First class passengers are placed in rail cars 1 and 8, business class passengers in rail car 7, while the rest are for premium economy class. In addition to dining car facilities, the high speed train offers charging ports, facilities for disabled people, and luggage storage space. The interior of the train features traditional Indonesian Mega Mendung Batik patterns on their seats. A first-class rail car has 18 grey fall leather seats with a 2-1 seat arrangement. A business-class rail car has 28 red fall leather seats with 2-2 seat arrangement. Meanwhile, a premium economy class rail car has 555 blue and grey suede seats with a 3-2 seat arrangement. The high-speed railway has four stopping stations, Halim, Karawang, Padalarang, and Tegaluar. 
with one depot available at the Galuar. Each station will be connected to public transit routes. From the total length of the high-speed railway route, more than 80 kilometers are elevated, while the rest goes through 13 tunnels with subgrade construction. The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed train has become part of the Indonesian community's dream to develop beyond transportation and offer more than just business. By creating harmony in combining transportation and regional integration in a sustainable manner.